Good morning. This lesson is for fourth and fifth graders. It is January, February 7th, 2021. And we are starting a new story called The Sower. All right. So we're going to kind of do a little science today. And we're going to hear about how God's word surrounds us and protects us. So in today's story, Jesus tells a story about how God is like a sower, not S-E-W-E-R, like sewing with some thread. It's S-O-W-E-R. So who a sower plants seeds. Um, it's kind of like a gardener. So God is like a sower, scattering God's word all over the world. So if you have your Spark Bible, I'd like you to turn it to chapter, um, or I mean to the book of Matthew. So is Matthew in the Old Testament or the New Testament? New Testament, right. So if you would turn to the Gospel of Matthew, the book of Matthew, we are going to then go find chapter 13. So Matthew chapter 13. You can pause the video until you find it. Great. Did you find it? For a little help, it is on page 1073. So 1073. So if you'd like to follow along, we're going to read verses 1 through 9. Then we're going to skip a little section and read 18 through 23. So I'll read it, and you can follow along with me. That same day, Jesus went out of the house and sat beside the sea. Such great crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and sat there, while the whole crowd stood on the beach. And he told them many things in parables, saying, Listen, a sower went out to sow. And as he sowed, some seeds fell on the path. And the birds came and ate them up. Other seeds fell on rocky ground, where they did not have much soil. And they sprang up quickly, since they had no depth of soil. But when the sun rose, they were scorched. And since they had no root, they withered away. Other seeds fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked them. Other seeds fell on good soil and brought forth grain, some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. Let anyone with ears listen. All right, you can flip the page and now go find verses 18 through 23. Hear then the parable of the sower. When anyone hears the words of the kingdom and does not understand it, the evil one comes and snatches away what is own in the heart. That is what was sown on the path. As for what was sown on rocky ground, this is the one who hears the word and immediately receives it with joy. Yet such a person has no root, but endures only for a while. And when trouble or persecution arises on account of the word, that person immediately falls away. As for what was sown among thorns, this is the one who hears the word, but the cares of the world and the lure of the wealth choke the word. It yields nothing. But as for what was sown on good soil, this is the one who hears the word and understands it, who indeed bears fruit and yields, in one case a hundredfold, another thirty or sixty, and in another thirty. And that ends the reading. Okay. So, what were some of the things that threatened the seeds? Like, what are some of the things that didn't let the seeds grow? Right. Birds, rocks, thorns. And what protected the seeds and nurtured them for good growth? Right, the soil. So when seeds of faith are surrounded by good soil, the God's word grows. So what are some ways that we help to nurture each other in faith?
Right, we might pray together or for someone else. We might help someone in need. We might read the Bible together, like attend a class, like Sunday school together. You might worship together. So those are all ways. So let's learn more about protect, surrounding and protecting the seeds. So there's many, many ways that a gardener protects seeds. And one way is being sure that the seeds that they choose will grow in the weather conditions of the place where they live. So gardeners use a temperature zone chart to know where a plant will grow. And God has designed seeds to grow only in the best growing conditions. So some seeds will not grow if it's too hot. Like right now, if you went outside to grow a seed, would it grow? No, because it's way too cold here right now, right? Way too cold. So we, you can also protect small seeds when they are just starting out by putting them in containers that are safe and easy to make. And so that is what we're going to do today. We are going to start, um, we are going to plant a seed in something we're going to call a starter cup, okay? And we're going to decorate it with crayons that don't have any harmful dyes in it, no harmful chemicals or poisons. And then next week, we're going to take our little starter cup that we planted and plant it into a bigger pot. So like in your bags, you would have had a bigger pot like this. Well, next week we're gonna use this and plant our starter kit or our starter seed kit in it. So, <coughs> excuse me. So for this week, you should have a baggie with some crayons, special crayons and seeds. So what you're gonna do is that we are going to, um, We are going to use this at a starter cup and we are going to, um, we're going to make this. So you can draw, you can use these um, special crayons to color and draw some fun stuff on here. And then what you're going to do is you are going to fold the bottom of this in. Okay, kind of like fold it in to make like a bottom, okay, after you do that. And you're gonna put some dirt in here, some of the dirt from your soil. You're not gonna use all the dirt in that bag because that bag we're gonna use next week to plant our plants. And then there's some bean, there's bean seeds in your bags. And you're gonna put some soil in there and you're gonna plant the bean seed, okay? And um, you're gonna need to water it a little throughout the week, right? And this will be our starter cup and we're gonna, um, our starter seed plant. And then we're gonna watch this as it grows. So you can stop the video and um, do that. All right. So there are two bean seeds in there. So if you wanna try to do this two times, you can, instead of taking um, the toilet paper roll, you could get just some paper you know, make some paper and put it around and, and make a little starter cup with your seed. So, um, so we know the starter, the starter cup protects it and surrounds it and it's protected. So just like our, our starter cups surround and protect the seed we planted, the bean seed, God's word surrounds us and protects us. So in our prayer today, we're going to ask God to help us know that God is with us in places where we sometimes feel unsafe or afraid. So I am going to lead the prayer, and then I want you to name, when I pause, name some times or places in your life when you need to know that God is with you. And you can just do that quietly to yourself in your own mind, okay? And then I'll end the prayer. So let us pray. God who plants seeds of faith, your love surrounds us as we read your word in the Bible. Help us to know that you are with us in these places that we name in our hearts.
keep us safe and keep us reading your word every day. Amen. All right. Thanks so much. I'm excited to watch as your bean plant grows. That'll be super exciting. So have a wonderful week and I'll see you next week for sure. Bye-bye.